We're back with another amazing GCN Tech unboxing for you, but this time we're giving away not one, but two fantastic new products for you. Although, I appreciate this might seem a little bit like deja vu, because uh, you have already seen this brand new kicker. We gave one away just a few weeks back, but the reason we have another one to give away is because it complements this, the kicker climb. Oh yes. We will be telling you all about it in just one moment. I'm sure many of you will be chomping at the bit trying to find out exactly how you can enter this giveaway, but be patient. I'm gonna tell you towards the end of this video. For now though, let's unbox. <laughs> Squeaky boxes, oh yeah. That's heavier than it looks. That one's also quite heavy too. Whoa! Look at that. So what is the kicker climb, you will be asking yourselves. I mean, it certainly doesn't look like anything that we've seen in the world of turbo training before. But frankly, I mean, it literally raises the bar. I mean, literally raises your handlebar. That, that's what it does. It's a part of Wahoo's indoor training system, which they've designed to effectively try to make riding indoors as close to riding outdoors as possible. Put in the simplest of terms, the kicker climb basically moves the front of your bike up and down to simulate different gradients between 20% up and 10% down. So you could kind of also work on your descending when on the turbo trainer as well as enhancing your experience on an app like Zwift. It's actually also really good for training because many coaches and physiologists think that a key part of preparing yourself for climbing is actually getting used to a different position on the bike because the bike is at an angle. Right, now the first thing that I noticed when getting the kicker climb out of the box is all of these adapters here along the bottom. Now poor old Wahoo having to cater for everything from a traditional road bike with a quick release axle right through to a mountain bike with 15 by 110. These ones here will be what I'm needing for my bike, which is where exactly. Before you actually jump on your bike, but after you have it set up, you need to pair the kicker climb with your kicker, which is a very simple process, and you just use that remote control there. It's both AMP Plus and Bluetooth compatible. And then you need to center it. So when it's at 0% gradient effectively, and you find that by double clicking on the remote, you lift up your handlebars, and it effectively swings like a pendulum until it rests in the neutral position and you pop it back down. And as weird as it looks having a bike with no wheels on, and it does look very weird indeed, actually when it comes to the stability, I mean that base is wider than your front tire anyway, but all your stability comes from the trainer at the back. The fastest and simplest way to actually get going is to use the remote. There is an up arrow and a down arrow, and away you go. Just be a little bit careful though, because it's all too easy to go up to 20% and the trainer automatically adjusts to simulate that gradient. But fear not. How cool is that? I'm now freewheeling down a hill. If you are to lose track, by the way, of what flat actually feels like, you simply double click the button in the middle and it takes you back to zero. For me though, where this really comes alive is when you pair it up to an app like Zwift or similar, where it will automatically adjust the gradient to simulate what you are seeing on screen. So with the kicker and the kicker climb now paired to Zwift, as soon as I hit a climb on here, the resistance automatically increases on the kicker and then the front end rapidly rises on the climb until you get to the top when the opposite happens. The resistance lifts up and down you go. Of course you don't need to pair it to an app like Zwift or Sufferfest or Trainer Road. You can use a Wahoo device and you can either upload a route that you've already ridden or particularly cool, you can actually plot a route on something like Strava or Map My Ride and then, using the indoor training function, you can effectively ride that route from the comfort 
of your own home. So if you are sort of training for a specific sportif but you can't recce the route in person, you can ride key sections indoors to get yourself ready. Or as far as I'm concerned, the best thing is that you could choose a road from anywhere in the world and ride it. That's amazing. To use your kicker climb, you will of course need a trainer to pair it to at the back of your bike. And that is where this one, the kicker, comes in. You will hopefully remember all the facts and figures because Ollie talked you through it just the other week, as I mentioned at the top of this video. But in case you missed it, here is a quick refresher. It has an even heavier flywheel than before, so that helps to generate an even more realistic feel. So basically, when the flywheel's turning, it has more inertia, meaning that when you stop pedaling, it will carry on going, just as if you stop pedaling out in the real world. It can also generate a little bit more resistance, so it will tolerate up to 2,200 watts. So, as you can imagine, as one of GCN's probably top seven or eight sprinters, I'm particularly excited about that. And if top sprinting power is not your thing, then it will also simulate gradients of up to 20%, which is rather convenient when you think about the capabilities of the kicker climb up front. And then lastly, I don't know whether you noticed, but that was pretty darn quiet. The reason being, they've changed the shape of the teeth on the belt. They're now triangular teeth, and that makes it almost silent in use. So effectively nothing now can drown out the sound of your heavy breathing, other than perhaps your favorite tunes when you crank them up. Well, now you know about the Kicker Climb and you've had your refresher course of the new Kicker, what you're waiting for now, I imagine, is how do you enter this giveaway? So it's very simple, if you didn't know already, simply head down to the description beneath this video and click on the link. Then you simply have to fill out the entry form and away you go, keep your fingers crossed. Now, if you don't mind me, I'm gonna crack on and have another lap of Innsbruck, but if you want to see another video, there is another piece of this Wahoo indoor training system that is missing from this, but Ollie unboxed just the other day. It is the headwind, so make sure you check that one out. Unfortunately, the competition is closed, but you get all your info on it just over there.